Hey, a lighthouse is often, uh, is often a form of navigation for ships coming in from sea. At least traditionally it was. And uh, Rochester has one with, some, uh, with a very rich past. Absolutely. Hannah Welker is taking us on a live tour of the Charlotte Genesee Lighthouse this morning with a view that I'm told you don't want to miss. It's very true. We're starting with Fred Amato, one of the tour guides here at the lighthouse. We're starting in the museum, though, right, Fred? Yes, Sarah. Because we got to know, why was this lighthouse built in the first place, 1822? Yes. Well, uh, before that, and I'll show you a little map here showing where the lighthouse, this is where we used to be, though this is where we are today. It used to be the Hincher property here. The government bought it, and they bought this because this was a high point in the area. Just north of here, there's, there's railroad tracks going around here. That had water in it. There were sandbars out here in the north. Ontario Beach Park did not exist at the time. Wow. So the government, before the government built this lighthouse, they were putting lanterns on these butternut trees that were out on the sandbar. Huh. Once this was built, the first lens that they put in here was actually not a Fresnel lens, but it was a lens similar to this kind wow. that we're looking at right now. This had an oil tank in the back of it. It has a wick in the center of it, a cylindrical wick, which you don't see in many places. But they made it cylindrical so that air could come through the center of it, made a much brighter light. And can you imagine 10 of these being up at the top of our no, tower? No, that's crazy. We had two banks of five up there. That's what they had for the light source. That I don't know how far the light uh, reached. <laughs> reached, But yeah. when we had the lenses like this one in the picture here, which was a Fresnel, this is a Fresnel lens, it's a fourth order Fresnel lens. Okay. Um, this one actually formed a beam of light. When it first was put up in here, in the middle of it, it would have had a lantern in it. This would probably allow the beam to go out about 12 miles out, so the boaters out there could be able to see it. And they, you needed something strong like that. And this is kind of actually a perfect time to talk about a lens, because as we speak, your crews are actually here installing a brand new lens, hopefully by this afternoon. Yes, it'll be in before the uh, morning's over, we hope. And uh, we're gonna have to go in there and throw them out. They, <laughs> they, they, they were happy to do it because they wanna get publicity on the lens because this is a lens that's gonna be brand new. It's not gonna be glass like the, like the original one it was, but it's gonna be a plastic one. But each one of the prisms that are on it forms a beam of light. In the center of it, we have a new lighting source, which is gonna be an LED source in the center of it. And that will be the source. It'll go through the prisms, and that beam will go out about 12 miles. And so if you're out on a boat there, you'll see it fairly easy, and we hope. Unbelievable. And you said uh, the Coast Guard has a, a part in this as well, right? Right. This is going to be like a secondary, secondary lens here in Shalott. At the end of the pier, we actually have a lens that's out. We don't have it, but the, there's a light that flashes out there. That's a white light, a red light that's flashing right now or during the nighttime. Ours will be a white light that'll that'll be on all the time. We didn't we, we never had a flashing light here at this top particular location. Other lighthouses did have them. And the reason for some of those flashing lights was it gave you an indication. It's like a Morris code the light was it flashed. If you count the flashes, you'll be able to tell what lighthouse it was in the area that you were in. Wow. And this does this still is today the oldest surviving lighthouse on Lake Ontario? Yes it is. Yep. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. And so when we go to the bottom, I, I sent a picture, I, I tweeted a picture of a view from underneath, uh, from the bottom of the lighthouse. But in our next segment, we're going to be climbing some of those steps to the very top. <laughs> so you aren't going to want to miss it. Stick around. Very nice. That's really cool. That's a pretty Narrow small passage. lighthouse. It won't take her that long to get up that no. one. No, not at all. And Terry Hancock can take two steps at a time. He's so tall. Yeah. Hey, 